hello everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will study the probable viva questions and answers of scanning electron microscopy it is a very important topic for theory as well as for practical first question what is the full form of sem and a scanning electron microscopy the credit goes to the german scientist max noll who designed the first scanning electron microscope in the year 1935 few sources also say that it was designed in the year 1937 by some other scientist state the working principle of sem sem works on the principle of applying kinetic energy to produce signal on interaction of electrons A focused beam of high energy electron will scan the sample surface and produce the image. Show the diagrammatic representation of sem. So this is how scanning electron microscopy is represented. What are the main parts of sem? We have electron source column down which the electrons will travel and this comprises of lenses plus the coils. Then we have sample chamber the detectors and the computer with loaded software what are the internal parts of sem so internal parts consist of electron gun anode condenser lens objective lens secondary detector extra detector state the function of electromagnetic lenses so these lenses are used to control the path of electrons what happens when electron beam hits the sample in this process different types of signals are produced some of them are secondary electrons back scattered electrons transmitted electrons x rays etc now in case they ask you to show the diagrammatic representation of this process so here is the diagram that you are required to draw and make sure you label all the signals properly What is the source of electron? So in scanning electron microscope we use tungsten filament as the electron source. What is the value of accelerating voltage? It is 30 kV. In sem what determines the quantity of secondary electrons? So in scanning electron microscopy one of the key factors which determines the quantity of secondary electrons is the energy of the primary electron. which electron gun is used in scanning electron microscopy we use field emission gun feg here are few of the important information about the scanning electron microscopy the depth resolution is 10 to 100 nanometers it has lateral resolution of about 1 to 10 nanometers and a very high magnification how images are produced in sem the primary beam of electron will hit and scan the sample surface giving out secondary electrons these electrons will be detected using a secondary electron detector and thus image will be produced how secondary electron differs from back scattered electrons secondary electrons are considered as low energy electrons having energy in the range of 10 to 50 electron volts and it is created due to inelastic scattering of electrons the secondary electrons gives valuable information about the topography of the sample now talking about the back scattered electrons we can say these are high energy electrons and they emerge from deeper locations back scattered electrons are created due to elastic scattering of electrons it helps in distinguishing one material from the other and it gives high resolution image of element present in the sample how resolution of sem can be improved this can be done by increasing the strength of condenser lens decreasing the size of objective aperture reducing the size of electron beam that strikes the sample and decreasing the working distance that is the distance between sample and objective lens why vacuum is required in sem so it is required for smooth flow of electrons in one direction and to prevent the electric discharge are sem images colored so as far as i have seen they are all black and white the signal number is usually represented as gray scale value so black and white images are produced in sem what is depth penetration formula 
this is how the formula is given that is r is equal to 0.0276 ae raised to 1.67 upon z raised to 0.89 rho here r is the penetration depth a is the atomic weight e the beam energy z atomic number and rho is the density how light microscope differs from electron microscope in case of light microscope we will have light source and the light microscope consists of glass lenses the cost is low and the results are less accurate whereas in case of electron microscope we have electron source electromagnetic lenses are present in the system the cost is obviously very high and uh, the results are highly accurate state the steps required to follow for doing sem analysis take powder or thin film or nano rods as sample then you will have a holder on which you are required to put a carbon tip and place the sample make sure you don't put excessive sample if in case you have dropped excessive sample then tap and remove the extra thing next do sputtering of the sample in this process a thin film of conducting material is deposited on the sample carefully place the sample inside the chamber now you may adjust the distance voltage value power value speed position focus scale brightness etc and take the appropriate images you will have the sem image of the sample state the applications of sem it is used for sample analysis for examination of nanoparticle in semiconductor inspection forensic investigation microchip assembly failure analysis and in material science research what are the advantages of sem it has a large depth field which means more specimen can be taken into focus very high resolution it gives 3d image provides topographical morphological and compositional information about the sample at last state some of the disadvantages of the sem so it can't image wet samples it is very expensive not portable requires very high vacuum and artifacts are also possible with this we come to the end of the video thank you so much for watching till the end and do subscribe to solely science for more videos ahead thank you so much